Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to Salty Sunday. Today we're going to be talking about one of my damselfish. I think he's going a little crazy. He's attacking all the fish in the tank. He even attacked the lionfish. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. So my four-striped damsel is attacking the wrasse. He's going after the dog face puffer. He's attacking all the fish in the tank. He's even going after this lionfish. Well, it all started last night when he was swimming really sporadic. I saw him swimming up to the top and then swimming super fast right down to the bottom. But he kept doing that over and over again and I wasn't sure what was wrong with him. I'd never seen this kind of swimming before. I've never seen this kind of behavior from him before and I didn't know what to think but I was really tired so I just went to bed and first thing in the morning I went over to check on him to see what was going on and I saw him and his little damsel girlfriend doing a little dance I get it now can see there's a whole clutch of eggs in the corner of the tank and he's defending it with everything inside of him. I don't think this poor damsel has slept in a couple days. These other fish even swim near him. He just, he's defending, he's defending his clutch and I think that's pretty impressive um, until he hurt my lionfish. Ripped a piece of his uh, pectoral fin off and I saw him spit it out and I was like, well, I couldn't grab my camera fast enough. I was like, what is going on here? He was attacking the lionfish. He would go back and forth. If the hog grass came anywhere near him, he was snapping at him. My poor baby puppy, my dog face puffer, who absolutely, well, I'm thinking is innocent, but I don't think anything is innocent around these eggs. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to think it's a pretty tasty snack if they get um, if they get near them. And I'm sure sooner or later the damsels got to sleep. <laughs> and I'm just pretty much letting nature play its course. I really don't know what else to do. I, d I don't have any kind of barrier to set up to protect them. I'm certainly not equipped to, to fan them and breed them on my own. But if you look real close, you can see on his left side... There's a big chunk, I'll freeze it, right there, missing. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have to put some antibacterial in the tank to make sure there's no infection that happens. Do you know what happened next? Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.